Hello, welcome to my workshop. Today I want to go over how to make several kinds of cuts in EVA foam. Um, we're going to make some a regular cut, we're going to make some beveled cuts, and we're going to make some special kind of cuts that create um, inward and outward angles just by using your knife and your contact cement. So the first thing you have to remember when you're cutting EVA foam is that your blades will get dull very quickly. I have a snap-off blade here, so when I feel my blade getting dull, I just snap the end off. And then I also have a blade sharpener. And you can sharpen your blade by running it across the sharpener like this on each side. To make your basic cut, take your very sharp blade uh, and making sure that your blade is straight up and down so you don't want it angled like this, you don't want it angled like this, you want it perfectly perpendicular to your foam. Use a pulling motion to pull the blade through the foam. And if it's thick foam like this, you will have to use some force but it, you should get a very smooth cut if your blade is sharp. It's a very clean cut that you could use in your armor. You don't want to make a, the kind of cut where you go like halfway through and then you do another cut and you go the other halfway and maybe you didn't go all the way through so you do another cut. When you do something like that, you end up with these ragged edges you're gonna end up having to dremel that away. So you can see that that's, that edge has some lines and some extra bits on it, whereas the one that we made earlier was very clean and you could have used that edge without doing any dremeling. At this point, I've made a couple of cuts with my blades, so I'm gonna snap it off. I do that by shortening the blade so that the snap off bit is right at the edge and then I take the bottom off of my blade and place it over the end of the blade that's going to snap and then snap it off and now I have a sharper blade. Making a beveled cut in foam is very easy because the only thing that you have to change from the basic cut is the angle of your blade. So your basic cut, you're angling perpendicular to the foam, straight up and down. If you want to make a beveled cut, you just angle your knife the way that you want your bevel to be. So if we want to make an inner bevel, we want to angle toward the piece of foam. I didn't make it all the way through with that one. That means that I need to sharpen my blade again. But here we see we have an inner bevel. See this? And it's quite clean. Um, you can see on the edge here where my knife didn't make it all the way through. And then to do an outer bevel, you just do the same thing except angled the other way. And here we have a, a really nice, smooth outer bubble. You can combine these two kinds of cuts to create a really cool and really clean fold in your foam. Start by cutting a bevel in your foam, but you only want to go about halfway through the thickness of the foam. So you're not cutting the foam into two pieces, you're just cutting a bevel into the foam like this. Then turn your foam around and cut the same angled bevel just a small distance away from your first cut so that the two cuts intersect. So you can see that we have our two cuts here and there's a triangle of foam that we can actually hopefully convinced, yep, there it goes, to actually come out of the foam. And we're left with a trench in our piece of foam. So now we can put on our masks 
get our contact cement and put contact cement in this trench and I will be back once that's ready to um, fold together to see what it looks like. Now that we have waited for our contact cement to get dry or tacky but not runny anymore, we can connect the trench sides creating a fold. And this, the intention is that this will be the off side of the um, piece. And then on the other side, the clean side, you have a really, really clean fold in your foam that looks perfect. It looks beautiful. The final kind of cut is actually very similar to this, except even easier. We're going to cut one time about halfway through the foam and then fold it to create an inner bend like this to encourage it to keep the exact angle that you want it to have is to actually fill in the trench that you've made with your half cut. So I like to do that by taking a small bevel off of a scrap piece of foam and actually filling in that trench with the scrap piece that you've cut. So let me apply the contact cement and then I'll show you exactly what that looks like. So I've placed contact cement in the trench that we made with our one cut and I've placed contact cement on the um, on two of the sides of the triangle bevel that we cut to fill in the trench. So now simply um, place the foam at the angle that you want it to be for your, your arm or your prop or whatever and use the bevel to fill in that trench to keep your piece at the angle that you want it to be at. If it's necessary that this be clean, um, you can dremel down the the inside the inside of it, and we can even cut off this sticky outy pit bit here. But you can see that you get a really really nice clean inner turn um, on your piece of foam. So just to summarize what we talked about today. We have a regular cut in your foam where you place the blade straight up and down perpendicular to the foam and use a pulling motion to cut through the material. And then you have the two kinds of bevels where you make the same sort of cut except that you angle your blade toward the inside or toward the outside in order to make a beveled cut in your foam. You have the outer turn where you cut a trench out of your foam by creating two bevels and then removing the material and then uh, gluing those together to create a really beautiful outer turn. And then you have the inner turn where you make one cut halfway through the foam and then fill that in with a scrap piece to create a really nice and clean inner turn in your foam. Uh, so I hope you learned some stuff. I hope it was useful to see this being done. Um, before you go, do the things for me. Like me on Instagram, subscribe on YouTube, and have a wonderful day.